Reducing eye strain with blue cut lenses. If you've ever seen me out and about, you've probably seen me wearing the yellow glasses that I often wear. Now, the reason I wear yellow glasses is because I have a sensitivity to blue light. This is a result of me being a tetrachromatic individual. That means that I have four types of light receptors in my eye as opposed to the standard three. This affects about 8% of men and about 15% of women. And for the most part, it doesn't matter. It's just that you have a little more sensitivity to blue or UV light. And in certain situations, you may see haloing around certain people or things or just reflected off of stuff when you have a lot of sunlight or just very blue light. Now, since I've gotten a set of what are called blue cut glasses and blue cut glasses are ones that have a reflective coating that bounces back light within a certain spectrum and this particular light is from 400 nanometers to 500 nanometers in wavelength. Now typically you have your spectrum of light and the visible spectrum is Roy G. Biv red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet but you have this stuff that's high intensity violet or um, ultra white or it's got a couple of different names depending on what you're reading and how they're using it but essentially it's light that is so blue that you shouldn't be able to see it but because you're either tetrachromatic or because you've had cataract surgery or a number of different things you are able to see it. Monet is a very famous person who was both tetrachromatic and had cataract surgery and so he saw a lot of light in the UV spectrum and that's the reason his paintings look the way that they do. But for normal individuals and probably even for him, but it creates eye strain and it creates a scenario where your pupils contract more in regular light than they would for other people. And so lots of times people would notice that my pupils were the size of pinheads when everybody else's were a little more normal sized. Since I've switched lenses, I've noticed that the whole world is a bit brighter. My pupils aren't contracting because they're not getting that extra light. And so they aren't as sensitive and so they're dilating further. Now, this means that my television is higher contrast, the whole world is just a little brighter. And then because I'm not seeing it through the yellow tint, the white balance of the world is a little better. So it's helped with mood, I feel happier, and everything's just a little better. Now, I have noticed that lights out of the corner of my eye end up causing a little bit of a blue reflection on the lens. And that could be a problem if you were working in an environment where you were backlit on a regular basis, or if you were standing in front of a monitor on a regular basis to make videos. Um, the only time it's really bothered me is I have a set of LED Christmas lights in my kitchen, and I notice that when I go in there, I see the little blue reflections off of the lenses. But for the most part, I'm much happier wearing these than I was my yellow glasses. And it's not something that everybody sees, and so I look more normal. You know, wearing yellow tinted glasses is not a normal thing, and people ask why you wear them. And while it's a great conversation starter, it's not the kind of conversation you really want to have. So for me, going to iBuyDirect.com, who's not a sponsor, but who I buy a lot of glasses from, is a great way to get glasses for cheap that have the coating. It adds about $15 to the price of the glasses, and for me it's been very well worth it. Since there are more and more devices using LEDs for backlights, and LEDs emit more of this blue light, more and more people are going to find that they have this issue than used to. You know, it wasn't a problem when you had compact fluorescent tubes or cathode ray tube um, monitors, and now that we're sitting in front of LED screens, it's more of an issue. I, you know, I even use an LED studio light that you can probably see the reflection off over there that's a little bit on the blue side. And as a result, I'm seeing the reflection in my glasses because it's kind of also a neat indicator of what things are very blue light because I see the reflections if they're behind me or off to the side. But for the most part, I've been really happy with the glasses. Check them out at iBuyDirect.com. For them, it's called a blue cut filter. Other people call it a B plus W filter. Some call it a visible spectrum filter. Some people call it just a coating, a blue coating. Some people call it 
uh, UV coating. There's a lot of different names. And just a pure UV coating is probably not going to actually be a blue cut, but some of them are calling it UV plus blue. Everybody wants to have their own name so they can say it's a unique feature to them. But it's been around for a while as B plus W for photography, and it's a pretty great thing, especially if you're sensitive to, to blue light.